So just when it feels like winter won't end, because we actually had some snow this morning, you can see that the grass is coming back, which is so exciting. And what that means is we have to fence again. <laughs> so in the winter, we move the horses forward to the front paddocks that are nearest the barns. And they're on um, hay then, you know, all winter usually actually from around October right through until May, unfortunately, being up the mountain, uh, we don't have great grass <laughs> for most of the year. So here is our jam, but look at this coming in, so pretty. They're gonna be very excited. So what we have to do is re-fence all of this into two paddocks again, two pastures, um, and they'll be able to run around and have so much fun. I don't know if you can hear, the birds are going crazy. Spring has definitely sprung. And I'm just going to check on our blueberry bushes. The whole of this back field is surrounded by blueberry bushes. Or huckleberries, I think they call them, but I think they're still high bush blueberries. Anyway, um, as you can see, we've had so much water. You can probably see a frog, honestly. So much rain. But all this will dry out soon and feed the grass. But all of these are blueberry bushes. And you can see they're actually coming into bud. So many buds. So we'll probably get absolutely thousands of blueberries. <laughs> That's always the hope. We like to make blueberry jam, blueberry gin, blueberry pies. So they just continue all the way. So you can actually kind of see in the distance and then they go around the back there. So all of this water is just so crazy, but it's quite funny because it'll dry up just as quickly as it came <sighs> and that'll be that so I'm really excited to get the horses back out into the big field because they absolutely love just running and being completely wild <laughs> so we fence right to the back fence and what we do is we leave a tractor's width about at the side and what that does is we're able to mow with a brush hog so that we can easily walk along and gather the blueberries or come out camping back here with the horses um picnics uh our summer camp kids we actually do a bear hunt uh <laughs> luckily it's not usually for a real bear but uh i hide bears in the trees and in the woodland along here and they come and hunt them so it's a lot of fun so yeah the grass is definitely growing and spring has sprung so it's actually sleeting rain right now <laughs> and it's so windy it's 20 miles an hour winds with big gusts so it is <laughs> not very spring like but I'll put some pictures in now of what it actually looks like when the horses are out here in the big back field, having a whale of a time in the sunshine. So on the other side of the big field, we have our bald eagles nesting just now. Uh, the juveniles from last year are actually just flying around just now. Um, I don't think that they nest here. We also have ravens uh, all the time here that fly over. And the crows fly over. It's quite exciting. We see osprey because we're only 15 minutes from the Delaware River. So, quite a lot of birds. We also have piper birds all over the fields. They ground nest. And American woodcocks. They're very funny because they sound like a duck at night. Right now we're in peeper season, so at night 
it's just frogs constantly all night long and I th I'm not sure if it's the bullfrogs that are out but there's a larger frog and they've actually laid a lot of spawn, frog spawn, in our pond so quite excited for that so yeah, there's lots to be done it's still ridiculously cold and wet but when this is all fenced and the horses are out it looks like this nicer. <laughs> I can't wait for it to be warm again. It's been a very long wet winter 